dogs for spelling. Yeah, definitely. It's a 17. It's all right, yeah, so I'll get it. So I can fill the round. You know, a compliment to Coach Simon and his staff, those players, those guys are, have a terrific amount of talent. They're a tough team. They've been more than a handful for us over the course of the season, playing them three times. Uh, they will they will give Northern Colorado a good battle tomorrow, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, we, we wish them well moving forward. Joe, you guys obviously really struggled with these guys during the regular season. You know, what was the biggest difference between the, those in this game today and then also just, uh, yeah, I guess. We played a whole lot tougher. We had some want to in us today. We were in a stance. We were defending. We put a premium on the last 48 hours of being physical and boxing out and trying to keep them to one shot and get them off the glass. And that's what we had to do. These guys were great. They, uh, they turned it into a one possession game with a minute to play. And that's what we wanted. We had to try to control tempo a little bit. And I thought these guys competed like crazy. Everybody, everybody from top to bottom brought something. Everybody was bringing something positive to the floor. We had great energy on the bench. And that's what we were capable of. And uh, you know, to compete like we did today is very encouraging. Trayvon, a tough couple of years to end your career here. But uh, ending your career with three straight 30 point games, just talk about the Yeah, I mean, I just came out, tried to play as hard as I could. Um, it was a credit to my teammates and my guys, uh, finding find ways to get me the ball, setting good screens, and, and allowing us to operate on the offensive end. Um, like I said, uh, uh, it's sad it's the last one, but but not too bad just because I know we put it all out there. We left all we could on the floor. So. You guys had that spurt one. You had 8 0 run, you had two threes in a row, tied at 61. Why, they, why were they able to pull away? Um, just a couple uh, defensive, uh, defensive rebounding things, um, offense rebounding them for them. Um, we had a block out, find bodies. Um, I said we just had to continue to play hard. I think that, that's what kind of gave us a little lapse there. David, they play so many guys, and you never know who's going to be on the floor together, what the location's going to be like, how challenging is it to guard some of You know, they're, that's a big team, and at times we play a smaller lineup. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of guys that can guard a lot of different uh, positions. But I think we're a, a, a stout defensive team. Um, our only challenge is matching up uh, when they get their subs in. Damon, are, are you really a 5'11"? And, uh, you know, nine rebounds today. Uh, I think a few charges. Uh, I guess just what was going on for you today? Uh, I think all season I've been fighting this guy, trying to get six foot on the roster. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just, just, just playing hard on defense, focusing on, you know, staying in a stance and uh, just Helping out my guys, you know, they, they help me out. They make me look better. Uh, you know, I took three charges, but um, you know, it's it's the other, it's the other guys that, that make us a unit. Dan, as you look back on this season, just how difficult was it for you guys, and how proud are you of the guys who did stay? Incredibly proud of them. I told these guys in the locker room they, you know, we had we had a mass exodus in the spring, and Trayvon and his teammates stuck in there. They kept fighting. We had a number of guys that committed to play here and they could have they could have jumped ship. They could have gone somewhere else. I would have shook hands with them and wished them well. I understand the circumstances. It wasn't what they signed up for. Our returning guys welcomed our incoming guys with open arms. Our incoming guys were receptive to hey here's how we do things. Here's what we're gonna do moving forward. They gelled together. I know it doesn't translate into enough wins but these guys fought together. They got along terrific. And we have, we have better days ahead of us because of what these guys to my right and the rest of the guys in that locker room have brought to the table this year. Coach, talk a little bit about what Trey has kind of meant to the team, especially over these last couple of years uh, for you guys. He is a special one. And it has nothing to do with scoring 35 points today. Uh, he comes from amazing parents. He has an immense amount of pride in the University of Idaho and what it is to be a Vandal. He's one of my favorite people I've ever been around and the fact that I've had the chance to coach him for four straight years has been an absolute treat. And he has stuck with me for the rest of his life because I will keep tabs on him. 
make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do. He is a first class representative of our program with anything that we do. And his future is as bright as the shining star in the sky. He's, uh, he's one of the special ones. He's what makes coaching so unbelievable for me. Trayvon played your final game. In, in this state, I mean, we were great. I mean, you had a lot of fans support here. Mm -hmm. So what was that part like for you? Um, it's, it's a great experience. Um, and as the buzzer went off, I was trying to soak it all in for sure. Um, I said, being able to play in the state of Idaho, come from, coming from Idaho, going to the University of Idaho, it, I mean, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, like I said, uh, we went out. These guys gave it their all. Um, I don't want no other type of teammates, no other coaches. It was fun, and I said no, I have no regrets or anything. I, I'm glad I came to University of Idaho. I'm glad it, I was able to play for the, for the Vandals. Thank you.